the defeat on Liberty Day. How do you summarise that one? Uh, yeah, look, I'm gutted. Firstly, obviously, the massive crowd in here today, great support for the boys. And then, um, yeah, we yeah, managed to lose a game of football, I thought. And um, for long periods, we was done some really good things. But I, I'm being honest, I thought the start of the second half, we started really passively, and I thought that was their best spell in the game. Um, and culminating them getting their moment they did, it was a bit of quality from the lad on the edge of the box. But I felt like that 10 minutes out of the second half, they started the second half better than us, and we didn't get going. And then when we did get going in the second half, we was already 1 0 down. Elliot Johnson came in for the injured Frank, Frank Vincent and won the Vicarage Field Man of the Match. How important is it that he keeps stepping up in Vinny's absence? Yeah, oh, look, John, John is a very good uh, player. You know, um, even Vinny being ahead of him just was a, because of injuries and illness with him and Pagey. So Vinny coming in took his chance brilliantly well. So we just kept him in there. But Johnny's Jono's um, played at this level really good for Barnett. Same for us. So and I thought look, I thought I thought the defence did a lot of good things there. I think it was in our final third where we had good moments for the boys to score the goals and they just didn't take them today. Um, partly down to good defending, but good organisation from Halifax, good goalkeeping and um, flipping it onto us. Um, yeah, more clinical in the chances, obviously, to, to take them moments because we, we, we created quite a few today to, to score a goal. We now have a full week to prepare for all training at home. What will we be looking to work on before then? Um, more of the stuff that we've been doing. It's um, first time we feel like, feel like we've had a free week in, in a while now. So um, look, uh, that, that one's going to sting all of us for over the weekend and then come in on Monday, review it, go through it all. Um, especially the, the start of the second half, we have to look at that as a collective and, and, and how hard it will be to watch that leads to their goal. Um, like I said, I'm not taking nothing away from the boys' finish. It was a fantastic finish from about 20 yards out, bending it in the top corner. But... Um, Leading into that, that moment they got the corner was from us being a little bit passive. Um, but yeah, listen, it just seems that like every time we get ourselves in a good moment, we're looking to search or get away from the, the trouble that we, you know, we have a real good opportunity to it today to, you know, cement where we have been, took a step backwards, and then it's our job now to go back forward again. That's what we have to do um, because it's been a, it's been a season. Every time we feel like we're doing things really well, and we're getting a bit of praise. That's why I'm really. Just like to stay away from it. I want to do better. I need to do better as a management team. I need to do better myself to make the boys better. And um, I've got players in there hurting, so I know they care and they're showing spirit. They're showing in the late in games. We did it again today where we could have got the equaliser again. And so they're fighting. They're trying to do the right things. And I think that was reflected in the reception that they got at the end. But we, you know, we've got to keep going. We've got to get better and get some more points in the ball as quick as possible.